So if lately you've been noticing that you're not progressing as fast as you think you should, if you're feeling stuck and almost ready to give up, then this video is for you. What's up, amazing ballroom dancers? Alexi is here and recently I've been thinking about difference between trips and journeys. So you see, due to recent events in the whole world, almost all of our trips, vacations, being postponed or canceled. But nevertheless, all of our journeys are still going on. You see, because by definition, all of our journeys includes all crises, all challenges and all traps. And one of the definitions of word journey, besides the obvious one, going to places, is long, often challenging process of self-discovery and transformation. And I honestly think this is the best explanation of what ballroom dance is. Ballroom dance is indeed a long process with a lot of difficulties and challenges, which ultimately leads to self-discovery and self-transformation. You have to be transformed to apply a new skill. You cannot stay the same. You have to start discovering yourself because you cannot stay the same. You should start evolving, start feeling yourself different. And that's the power of journey. That's the power of learning anything new and looking at this as a long process which can possibly improve entire your life. So now I have a question for you. Do you treat your ballroom dance adventure as a trip or as a journey? Think about it. There is nothing wrong if it is a trip. Just make sure to find your journey. Make sure to find something what you're going to be truly passionate about. But if you are finding yourself in the middle of an incredible journey, <laughs> if you're treating your ballroom dance as a long-term project, and if you are ready to overcome and find courage to deal with all of the challenges on your way, then I have a couple things I want to share with you because I am by myself on this journey already for 24 years. So first of all, if you are treating your ballroom dance as a journey, you need to recognize where you are at the current situation, where you are right now. And second of all, you need to know where is that you are moving toward? What is your goal? What is your pursuit, what you're trying to achieve? The topic about where we are going is so huge, so it requires a separate video. The only thing I will say about it is that it needs to be so big that it gives you motivation to overcome all of these obstacles on your way. And if right now you find yourself in the middle of this challenging time, if this time, in fact, the most challenging for you, if you feel like there is no way you can progress in this situation, if you feel like everything working against you, I wanna challenge you by saying that it might be the most important time in your process of learning ballroom dance. You see, the challenge is usually makes us stronger. The challenge usually gives us new realization, a new understanding, a new awareness about ourselves and about lives and about where we are going. So if you right now find yourself in this situation, please take a piece of paper and pen or pencil. <laughs> I like pencils. And write down where is that you are heading forward. Whatever, right? Just think about what is motivates you. What vision do you have for your journey? There is no wrong answer. And we're going to talk about this more in the future videos. Just right now, analyze it. Second thing you can do right now, if you're finding yourself in this situation of not progressing and you cannot go to your regular classes and to your studio, contact to your teacher and schedule a Zoom lesson with him. If you're still skeptical about this whole concept of taking lessons online, don't be. It's a perfect way to start working on the most important aspects. You see, due to the limitations, you can be focused on fundamental technique. 
and that's incredible. I am experiencing with my students the most amount of progress. We talk about things we were not, we didn't have time to talk to, right? Because we had other things we wanted to do. Another thing you can do right now is to take full responsibilities in learning proper technique of all dances. Recommit yourself to solo practicing foundations. Make sure you schedule your practice time and commit to be consistent in it. And lastly, I will recommend to stick around this channel. My deepest purpose, my deepest goal is to help people on their journey of ballroom dance. And don't underestimate this journey. It truly has a potential to create incredible amount of changes in your life and make you not only a better dancer, but a better human being. So stick around. We have so many interesting topics to discuss together. And if you're deciding to stick around, please go ahead and visit my ballroomwithalexi.com. This is my blog. Recently, I released my Romba Fundamental course there. This course is designed to help you practice the most fundamental technique in Romba. So if you feel like you need a better structure for your practice, if you feel like you need more motivation for your practice, if you feel like you want to make sure that you practice correct things in Ramba, this course was designed specifically for you, if you're a beginner or intermediate pro-am or amateur ballroom dancer. So please go ahead and check this course till the end of this month, so till September 1st, it's on discount and as well, and as well, if you will decide to purchase this course till September 1st, you will get 45 minute Zoom coaching lesson with me as a bonus. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. All the best to you. And I'll see you really soon on my next video.